Okay, so I'm a lazy girl at heart and I'm sure some of you guys can relate. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys some tips and tricks on how I stay productive while also having balance. Hope you guys enjoy. Good morning, you guys. It is currently 5.45, but I decided after filming my waking up for 5 a.m. for a week video to continue waking up at 5 a.m. because it honestly made me feel just really productive and it kind of made me realize that productivity is a choice and so is laziness. Not to say you can never have a lazy day, you can never take time off, but I know a lot of people struggle to be productive. Honestly, I'm a lazy girl at heart, but what I kind of realized is like productivity is a choice making myself wake up at 5 a.m. it feels just really good because you know that saying where it's like making your bed every morning has a snowball effect into the rest of your day for me when I tried waking up at 5 it kind of had the same effect where waking up at 5 getting my whole morning routine done before 8 o'clock it made me feel so good and even if I did nothing for the rest of that day I would still feel so good because I accomplished that in the morning waking up at 5 a.m. is super super challenging for me because I love my sleep as probably most people do and since I have no real reason of actually having to get up at five because i create my own schedule feels really good to challenge myself and i just feel like that's such a big part in staying productive is challenging yourself i thought that there would be no way that i would be waking up at 5 a.m now as my actual morning routine when you put your mind to something and you accomplish it it releases dopamine and accomplishing those little tasks that i can frequently accomplish every day it just makes me feel really good also one thing that really helps my productivity levels is not going on my phone first thing in the morning i don't even touch my phone until at least an hour after waking up it makes me feel really shitty right when i wake up scrolling on my phone and on social media then it leaves me feeling more tired groggy then i'm exposing my brain to all this stimulation first thing in the morning which is not good because it can subconsciously trigger something and so not doing that has honestly changed my life and that's also kind of another snowball effect i'm not as inclined to go and pick up my phone afterwards like i don't even really want to touch it sometimes so then i won't go on my phone for even longer than an hour yeah i just feel so good to do that and that's like a huge tip of mine if you guys are looking to be more productive but yeah i'm just gonna finish um ice rolling my face and i'm drinking my bone broth right now and then i'm gonna do my morning routine and then we're gonna head to the gym I just put my workout set on so i make sure to put my workout set on first thing in the morning so that it motivates me to actually get up and go to the gym because if i just stayed in my pajamas while doing my whole morning routine then it's just gonna make me want to go back to bed so getting changed honestly makes the biggest difference trust me <laughs> to the gym it's literally pouring rain and on days like this like i do not feel motivated to go to the gym because all that i want to do is curl up in bed and sleep to be honest and go back to bed and just listen to the rain one thing that i've learned on how to stay productive motivation can only take you so far because motivation comes and goes in waves that's why you have to have determination when you're determined you're going to do it no matter if you have motivation or not so even though i don't have any motivation to go to the gym today since my mindset is very determined i'm gonna go also it's really important to have a reason why you're gonna do things so if you want to be productive and go to the gym it's like why do you want to go to the gym you have to tell yourself and have a reason why or else you're not going to want to do it and you're not going to know why you're doing it the reason why i'm bringing my ass to the gym today is because I want to be in shape and I want to be healthy and because I have that reasoning instead of me going to the gym and it feeling pointless it's like I know the reason why I'm going to the gym and that's what's keeping me determined to do so so yeah that's something that really really helps me and if you have no reason why you're doing something then it makes sense why you're not determined or even motivated to do it but anyways let's go work out
keep a nigga, man, bitch, in a fiddle flow. Let me fuck when I want, I just come and go. Man, these rackets too big for these skinny clothes. I might put me in him as a bitch, but. Okay guys, so I just finished my detox smoothie and before I have breakfast, I'm gonna take my Seed DS1 Daily Symbiotic and I would love to thank them for sponsoring this video. So this is a two-in-one prebiotic and probiotic. I love taking it because it supports my gut, my skin, and my heart health. So DS1 Daily Symbiotic is actually formulated with clinically and scientifically studied strains for whole body benefits. And it really has a lot of science to back it up. They just have so much evidence on like how and why it works. And also in the past, you guys, I've struggled with my gut health and I've been looking for great products that can support my gut health. And that's exactly what Seeds Daily Symbiotic does. Literally everything stems from your gut. And so it's so important to keep your gut health healthy and maintain it. And I've been taking Seeds for about a month now and I've just felt so amazing and a lot better. Like you guys saw, I literally woke up at 5 a.m. this morning and I'm gonna continue to do that. In addition to that, this actually supports clear and smooth skin. And honestly, I just have been feeling my skin glow. And like I said before, your gut health is literally connected to everything. Therefore, if your gut's happy and supported, then your skin's happy and supported. So I definitely feel the correlation between those, especially after taking this. It's so easy to take. Literally, all I do is every single morning before or after I drink my detox smoothie, I take two capsules. It's recommended to do it on an empty stomach, but I honestly just take it whenever I remember in the morning, but I do make sure that I take it before I actually eat my breakfast. And it also doesn't even need to be refrigerated, which is so nice, so you can store it anywhere. And it actually comes in this when you order for the first month, so it comes in this little container that can hold it for you and then you can just put store that anywhere and then it also comes with a travel size but anyway so yeah you guys know my health is number one priority and especially for 2023 i'm prioritizing myself and my health and seeds daily symbiotic just really supports my health and it honestly has been the best addition to my routine also to say the packaging is elite like it's so this is such a little cute container it's so aesthetic but yeah so if you guys want to shop um click the link in my description and you guys can use code bento for 15 percent off to save some money but anyways let's take our two capsules i just like love convenience you guys that's the thing for me is like when i add something new into my routine if it's not easy and convenient i'm not going to add it into my routine but something like this is so beneficial for your health yet so easy to just implement into your routine but anyways, cheers to health in 2023. Let's go shower. So I'm just currently getting ready. I just got out of the shower. I didn't wash my hair. It's super greasy, so I'm just going to slick it back again. But I'm just doing my makeup for today. But let's talk a little bit more about productivity because that's what this video is basically about. So there's a study that was done and apparently like short-term dopamine is not good for you. So for example, you just picking up your phone, scrolling on TikTok, that's just like quick dopamine because you don't have to do anything you literally just pick up your phone and open tiktok and bam you got a lot of dopamine right i've been trying to rewire my brain so i'm not trying to give myself too much instant dopamine when i do a full day of productiveness like if i get all my shit on my to-do list done at the end of the day i feel so happy i feel so good and then i can sit and relax scroll on my phone watch tv yes there's periods of time where you need to relax like i just took a two-week vacation where i basically barely did anything but balance is key so it honestly just started with me kind of pushing myself to do certain things even if i didn't feel like it because i used to just kind of go based off of oh if i feel like doing this um i'll do it and if i don't i don't and yes that's important in some circumstances but in terms of like my everyday tasks that i want to do like work out and stuff i have to push myself to do that sometimes but now it's more become a habit it's all about creating habits when something becomes a habit you're gonna feel the need to do it and that's the case for whether if it's a bad habit or a good habit so may as well make your habits good if you look at the habits you have in your life probably you associate most of your habits with being negative but they can be positive too if you have going to the gym a goal then make one of the gym one of your habits it's so easy just to kind of play the victim in your day-to-day -day, make excuses be like 
I can't do this because A, Y, and Z. You're trying to make excuses in your brain of why you can't do something. You truly know at the end of the day that you're just making excuses. You can do anything you set your mind to. Like I used to make excuses that I can never wake up early because I love my sleep too much, but I proved myself wrong. And that was honestly the best feeling because if you put your mind to literally anything, you can do it and you can accomplish it. So it's just so important that if you actually want to be productive and like get your shit done, work on your goals, like you just have to stop making excuses for yourself and just honestly do it. And obviously productivity and all that is gonna look different for everybody because everybody has different lives. Also having a routine makes me super productive because every day when I wake up, I'm not scrambling. I know what I need to do and it makes it a lot easier and seamless. If I like truly listen to my, listen to my body every day, I wouldn't go to the gym because I'd be too lazy to. It's like, no, that's literally just me being lazy. You know what I mean? Like, yes, you have to listen to your body, but also you have to differentiate when you're trying to make excuses for yourself and when you're not. Last night I got home from my soccer game. I got home pretty late and I had to go like eat, take a shower and go to bed because I wanted to get like a eight hour sleep. So I didn't have time to like chill. In the shower, you guys, I was trying to make excuses in my head and I'm like, what if I push back filming this on Tuesday and then tomorrow I can just sleep in a bit and chill and whatever. And I was literally trying to reroute like my day because I was making excuses for myself. Today could have been an unproductive day because of my excuses that I made yesterday. But I was like, no, Michaela, you are trying to make excuses here. You can do it. And I've done this so much in the past where I've talked myself out of things exactly like I was just like saying, where I'll just make excuses for, for myself in the moment and I'll be like, oh, I don't have to do this. And I'll delay and delay and delay and then it never gets done. Like your whole body is honestly going to be against you sometimes. But I'm so glad that I ended up still waking up on time doing my routine now we're filming this video like i'm so glad today that i didn't listen to myself yesterday getting ready helps me be so much more productive because if i just stay in my pajamas a whole day it's gonna reflect outward and it's gonna make me feel like shit and not want to get anything done getting ready it makes a world of a difference for being productive so if you're struggling with that definitely try just getting ready doesn't have to mean like putting a full face of makeup on but just like brushing your hair out putting an outfit on. Okay, I just slicked my hair back. So the best hairstyle to do when your hair is greasy. What I'm gonna be doing right now is just tidying around my apartment. It's not like dirty or anything, but there's just like clutter laying around. Blankets aren't folded. So I'm just gonna do a quick cleanup because doing that helps me be productive because it really just like helps me mentally because then I see I have a clean space. So it motivates me more to do work rather than like me just like paying attention to my space not being cleaned. And it does like affect me personally, mentally. And I'm assuming some of you guys can relate as well. So that's what I'm gonna do quickly before I sit down and do my emails is I'm just gonna do a quick cleanup. Probably gonna be around 15 to 20 minutes. It doesn't have to be long. I just made myself a coffee and I'm about to do my emails. Another one of my tips for being productive is getting your most daunting tasks done at the beginning of the day. I used to be notorious for literally procrastinating so much and saving them for the end of the day or the end of the week or the end of the month is like probably the worst thing you can do because they're always going to be in your mind and like weighing on your shoulders. It's going to be in the back of your mind and you're going to be low-key stressing about it. Accomplishing like the hardest things at the beginning of the day has made a world of a difference because then it kind of leaves your mind on a blank slate for the rest of the day and it just feels so much better, I promise. Getting the biggest thing checked off of your to-do list at the beginning of the day is going to make you want to do all those other little things, kind of like a snowball effect. Also to make your daunting task a little easier Easier, try and incorporate something fun for yourself. So for example, while doing my emails, I'm gonna be drinking my coffee. So it kind of motivates me a little bit more. Do something that kind of motivates you to get it done.
so I just got to the grocery store. We're gonna do some productive girl shopping today because I just need to get a few things. Like not a huge grocery haul, but since I started making my smoothies every morning, I've been running out of produce because like you can't really buy a whole bunch of produce at once or else it's just gonna get old. So I just kind of need a little restock on produce and that's basically it. While I'm grocery shopping, I'm gonna listen to some music because it's just like drinking coffee while doing my emails. It kind of gives me some motivation to do it. It just like kind of romanticizes everything. Anyways, let's go. I just got back from the store. I just got some spinach, cucumbers, and then bananas. This is all for my smoothie. And then I got these apples because I've been obsessed with making apple crumble recently. And it's just been my favorite dessert. It's like a healthy alternative to processed sugar desserts. You know what I mean? And I just like to feel a lot healthier. So good. But yeah, anyways, just a little um, haul. dying right now because sheets mask just make you look so scary but anyways i just put on this one avocado banana milk it's a hydrating plant-based milk mask this is from esw beauty they're actually made in korea which i know korea has such good skincare but i just wanted to talk a little bit about rewarding yourself after you've had like a productive day that's like one thing that helps me be productive is i always like reward myself when i do accomplish my tasks and i feel like that's just so important because then you have something to look forward to so tonight i'm gonna go like watch gilmore girls or youtube or something and just like relax with this face mask on and it just feels so good to relax after you've had like a good um, productive day and like I said don't get me wrong obviously lazy days are totally necessary and there's also such thing as toxic productivity which you don't want to overwork yourself obviously so at the end of the day balance is key and it's just important to know yourself and your body and your limitations but yeah so that was just everything that helps me be productive and I hope you guys really enjoy this video and enjoy the tips yeah I'm gonna go sit with this face mask on Watch some Gilmore Girls. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Go follow me on Instagram. Love you guys so much. I'll see you in my next video.